Good morning, fam. Modern Day Caveman here. Well, it's another day and another video. Hope you're ready. So today I'm going to talk about credit. And and I like when I was in prison, I, I was learning about credit because I didn't know anything about credit. I've never had credit. I didn't have credit. I, I didn't owe. I didn't have any bills or nothing. But every class that I took, and I took plenty of classes, every class that I took talked about how important credit was. Every single class that I took talked about how important credit was. And so they talked about how to build credit, how to do this, how to do that. And uh, so I actually, there was a dude named Carlos Christian. He came through and he talked about how to build credit. And he had this book, um, Walk in the, uh, the Walking Logo, and it talked about how to establish credit. And, and uh, I used that, I kind of used that pattern to establish my credit. So I, I had a, I had a one, no, I had a seven, seven, four, like, no, when I got out of, so what I did, let me, let me back up, let me back up. All right, so a friend of mine, she, um, she, she decided, I, I told her that I was trying to build my credit. So about a few years before I was getting out, she got a credit card in my name under her account and she started using it. And, and she was making little small purchases and, and paying it off and, and, over you know over the years I started building a little bit of credit and <clears throat> right before I got out I think my credit score was like 696 or something it was like it was like really 690 something and I was like yeah and I really didn't understand that the, the credit score I just knew that I had a I had a credit history and I had a credit score so um, I got out of prison and I had that credit card and I started using it and I uh, when I started using it, like, cause now I'm out, I'm out and I'm actually using it to make these purchases because they said that I should, what I should do is use the credit card as my cash and use my bank account. Like, like what I, 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 I got my, my money direct deposited into my bank account, my, 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 my paychecks. I got my paychecks direct deposited into my bank account. And then I would use my credit card to make any purchase that I was trying to any, I wouldn't use cash. I would use my credit card. And then at the end of the week, I would, like, well, actually what I did is every time that I got paid, I would go and open up my bank account and pay off my credit card for the week, right? And I just kept doing that back to back. Every week I just kept doing that back to back. I'd go make purchases, go make purchases, and then pay off the credit card when I got paid. And i just make little purchases. It was just using it as my cash. And so I always knew I, I, I kept an, an eye on my balance. And another thing that he said that I should do is was... um. Get watch your interest rates, like he says, because they charge you these interest rates on these bank, these credit cards, man. Like if you don't pay it on time or if you're late, they give you this real crazy late. Like like I think one of the plans was like they give you like a, a thirty percent interest rate if you pay late or you don't pay it on time or something. But I have zero interest if I pay my 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 credit card off on time. There's zero interest, so there's no those no late fees, no no no, no kind of fees, and I and I go with. Um, I use Chase Bank, and they're great, man. Their security is great. They're like whenever I had an issue, like because uh, somebody stole my my debit card number, and <laughs> and they and they uh and 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 they credited they like they they tracked it down, credited the account, and just like it was no problem at all. Like and they they gave me the money. I was like wow. So but anyways, so. I ended up like after after getting out, get my own bank account. I got my own credit card through Chase, and I, so I had I had I, I want one thing that I learned is that I canceled that other credit card because I wanted a credit card in my name under my account. That was that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want. I mean, I I thank my friend for doing what she did. She helped me establish credit, but I really wanted my own account, my own card, so I could be responsible for my own stuff. And what I did is when I canceled that card on her account, it dropped my credit score. And I was like, well, that was weird, you know what I'm saying? But it was all right because I, I found out that I had a history with that card. And and <clears throat> and when I dropped that card, I dropped my history, so I had to start all over again. Because now I'm because it was under her account. And I and uh so I got my own credit card and I started building my credit back up. And I ended up getting my credit up to seven forty nine. Right, I got my credit up to 749 in about a four or five month period, just by making small purchases, paying off the thing, 
and just, just, just keep doing the same thing. Making small purchases, paying it off. Making small purchases, paying it off. And I just kept, and I would buy everything, like everything with it. Like anything that I bought, I would use my credit card. And then, so I went and I got a Kohl's credit card. That's what I ended up doing. I went to go to Kohl's to buy a pair of a dress. And, <clears throat> and as I was walking out, I saw the jewelry and I saw the watch. And I was like, wow, I like that watch. And so the, the, I was asking the lady if I could see the watch. And she, she let me see it. And she says, if you get a Kohl's credit card, you get a 35% discount right now. And we'll give you an, some, some Kohl's, like $10 Kohl's cash. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, if you sign up for a credit card, it's free. So I was like, wow. And so I got the credit card and got the watch for like 20 bucks. Like it was like 20, 20, 20. It was like, no, I take that back. It was like the watch was ended up being $54. That's what it was. It was $54. And but it was like originally like like it was like originally like a, a ninety dollar watch or something, but I got it like almost half price. And so I bought the watch. And then uh I came like I came back and I paid it off with the credit card. Like I paid like I got the credit card and I put it on Cole's credit card, right? And then I turned around and I paid off Cole's credit card with my own credit card so I, I it would be done. Like I just wanted to get the bill, pay it, right? And and so then the next time I went into Kohl's, I bought this necklace. That's what I went. I bought this necklace. And uh, I bought something else too, but I, really it was this necklace. This necklace was originally $365. I got it for like $120. And, uh, and uh, I paid it off. But I had this, this, it was like, it was like $22 and something that I had. Like, it was something that, that whatever, I forget. Oh, no, I take that back. Let me re reverse. I bought the necklace first, and then I went back and bought the watch. And the watch was twenty. I ended up having to pay twenty twenty six something dollars for the for a ninety dollar watch. I ended up paying paying twenty six no twenty two ten. That's what I ended up owing twenty two dollars and ten cents. And I was like, okay, I can I'll pay that off when I get home. So I got home and I used my I think I used my debit card. I used one of my my cards on my account to pay the to pay the bill off. And then I'm, uh, my card, something happened with my card where somebody got a hold of my number and I had to change cards. So then I moved down here to Cincinnati. And when I moved down here to Cincinnati, you know, my address changed. So, and then I got the new card while I was down here, they gave me a new card, a new number. And so about, maybe about a month ago, th maybe about three weeks ago, um, I was, because I monitored my credit. My credit score said, Remember, I had a 749 credit score. My seven, my credit score said I had a 645 credit score. And I was like, 645? And so I go through, you know, my, my Chase app. I go through my Chase app and I see, like, I go to see in my credit journey and see what's going on. And it says that I owe Kohl's $78. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I call Kohl's and I'm like, hey, I, I owe y'all $78. I said, I don't owe y'all no $78. I paid off the bill. And she was like, "No, you, 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 you the seventy-eight. You know, she said, "Yes, you do. You, you had a balance of twenty-two ten, and you know, you plus the late fees turned it to seventy-eight dollars." And I was like, "Twenty-two ten for what? That watch?" And she was like, "Yeah." I said, "I paid off that watch." <clears throat> and she was like, "No, the payment was canceled. Um, it didn't process, and we sent the notice to your house." And I was like, "You?" I said, "I didn't get no notice." Because like, I'm living in Cincinnati, and they, they had, what they did is they sent the notice to my mom's house and that address. And I remember my mom telling me I had some mail from Kohl's, and I, and she, I said, well, open it up. Let me see what it is. And she opened it up, and she said, it's a bill for 2210 I said, well, I already paid that because on my credit, on my, on my account, it's saying that I, I paid it. I, don't, I didn't see that they, they, didn't, like, they didn't process the thing. I saw that they had processed it. And then I guess for some reason they unprocessed it. I don't know what happened, but I didn't know. I didn't even know I owed them $22.10. $22 and then now with the late fees and all of this, it injected up to $78. And then they turned it into the credit bureau. And when they turned it into the credit bureau as a late payment, right? As a late, they, the credit bureau knocked off 105 points off my credit score because of that one transaction. And I was like, what? Like, dude, I was like, man, so I called, like, when I called Coles, I was like, man, look, I want to cancel this card. I said, how much do I owe you? I'm like, $78. I said, okay, look, I'm going to pay that off, and I just can, I'm just get rid of the card. And she was like, no, 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 no. We don't want you to cancel the card. Look, we'll waive the late fees. Just, just give us the money that you owe us, right? 
and just give us the 2210 and keep the card and we'll waive the late fees and we'll turn it into the credit bureau that you paid it off and your your current your account will be current. And I was like, all right, so I did it. You know, I, I kind of wanted to keep the card because I know that one of the things I know that if you close an account, it affects your credit score. So I kept it open and it's been a month now and my credit score went back up 24 points. So I'm like, ah. So the moral of the story is <laughs> pay attention to your credit card. Like the things like a late fee, a late a late charge, man. They, they took off 105 points off my credit score for a late charge. And it's going to take me a few months to get it back up to where it was at. And I'm like, man, I was working so hard on my credit and I was doing so good. So that's my that's that's my uh my 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 story man just pay attention to your credit like so if it's important it's important remember don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button <laughs> that was a weird one that was a weird one but it's all good though it's all good remember god loves you so do i peace one love